Hey, what's going on there guys? Welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts Unchained X. My name is Jonathan Snow and today we're actually on the login screen because I actually want to talk about this a little bit. Um, if you guys do play Kingdom Hearts every day or log in every day, you actually get free jewels. And the reason why I'm bringing this up because actually today's video is going to be about Avatar. And why am I in this mission? I don't know. I probably left off of this mission, so we're just going to give up real quick. Um, we're going to talk about avatar points on the jewel side. Uh, reason being because I, I actually want to increase my, my, uh, my cost for my medals. And right now I'm sitting at 139. And I've actually been kind of debating on the avatar board. Because they actually have um, the 500 jewels deal. And you know 1000 jewels and 1500 jewels. So I'm, I want to discuss on how... You know what, what do you get when you actually open one of these up so as you guys can see if you log in every single day for the um, for five days straight you actually can earn a total of 500 jewels which can lead to get some of these um new or these the uh avatar clothing to actually increase your cost which is really good so you need more costs so that way you can actually have more six star uh, medals in your team so we're gonna go ahead and open up these 500 jewel costs because that's pretty much what you get when you oh, when you log in for five days. So you get 500 jewels, and this is exactly what you get. And sorry about the truck. Every time, every time I make a video, there's a truck there. Every time. So, as you guys can see, I purchased the 500 jewels, and this is what you get. So it actually costs one avatar point to continue on going through every single, um, you know, progression thing there, Majig. So let's go ahead and just hit unlock. So we're good. the first three are the cost. Which is very helpful. So that's what we're getting now. And then there goes the two points for the cat ears. Cat ears, eh, I'm not really too crazy about. But this is also another thing. We actually get Sid medals. And Sid medals actually decrease. It decrease the cost for your medals. So for example, a six star medal actually costs, I think, 45 and 46 costs to use. And Sid actually decreases it by one. So with, with within doing this, um, you, your your metal can actually get decreased by ten, by ten cost. So this is very helpful. And then you have every time I swear every time is a truck. And then you have um, a Chip and Dale, which actually have uh, different attributes. And I'm going to show you guys that um they, they actually can increase your cards, uh, your metal, not card, your your metals um, attack or defense which is pretty cool as well so we're doing that now and you actually get some Huey Dewey Louie um, six star medals which is uh, actually the highest to train up your medals as well so it's pretty cool to have them as well and then you, sh you also have a Moogly I know it's called a Moogle but you have a Moogly six star which gives you I think 45,000 and you get a new title unquestionable so let's go ahead and check out my, our medal list here and see uh, the Chippendales we have. Chippendale has increased strength by 150, which is awesome. And where is uh, Dale? And you increased defense by 150. That's not too bad. And then you have Sid decrease the six star medal by one cost. And the cool thing is, if you actually have five Sids, you actually can evolve them. So we're gonna show that now on on the screen here. So we have five Sids. We're gonna evolve them. It actually costs 5,000 money to evolve them which is pretty cool and then if you actually have two five uh two five uh sids you actually can evolve it even further to actually have a full 10 and it costs us five thousand money down below as you can see and we're going to evolve it to 10 it's basically just to save room for your um for your backpack pretty much so that so instead of taking 10 spots it only takes one spot which is pretty good and I'm actually glad they actually implement that in um in the game. So guys, that is uh pretty much um what I want to talk about the avatar board. Also, um when you have your avatar coins, I recommend uh, not to actually get the full suit or the full costume because it costs so much just to get it. But uh, if you actually do, I recommend getting the hairstyles because they cost the least and they actually give you AP. And you need AP to play. And plus, at the end of this month, half AP is gone. So you definitely want to take full advantage on getting the AP. So, for example, if you actually look at uh, my board, 
a lot of, a lot of them if you see a uh, nods down in the below below them will say seven out of seven two out of six two out of six reason being because usually the first two has ap and cost and that's exactly what i'm aiming for all the time so i can have max cost and max ap for very little um cost of my avatar coins so if, as for example here on this yellow gummy ship you see ap 15 cost for avatar um coins we're gonna do that and we're gonna earn those two and sometimes I actually go for this AP on the really top corner just because, uh, you know, you have to just get the 45, which is not too bad. And, uh, you know, you always want high cost in this game. So that's what I pretty much do. Um, never waste your um, avatar coins on getting the full costume because um, you do get the costume once you get it. And you actually get a title every time you do get it completely. But um, it's just a waste, to be honest. So, and then let's go ahead and get one of these 1,000 jewels so we can see uh, pretty much what you get out of that. So, we're going to open it up. And we get three costs. We get the avatar and we get some more Sids, some more Chippendales, some more Huey and Louis, and more Moogles. So, that's pretty much what you get. Basically, it's just to get the cost. So, I hope this video was kind of informative for you guys. And, uh... I think that's how you should use your avatar coins. Uh, for, for the earlier on ones, I kind of wish I didn't um, buy them all the way, but I didn't really know that until later on as I kept on playing. It's best just to um, do the first two and then that's it. And the hairstyles, you should completely get them just because they're very cheap to get. And usually I think they're like, what, 35, 45 and that's it. And you can pretty much get everything on the board. So, nonetheless, guys, I hope that's important for you guys. Please leave a like or comment down below if this is helpful for you guys. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode of Kingdom Hearts Unchained X.